Hello everyone, and uh, today will be my sixth tutorial in the basic kill series where we will be focusing on chariot cannon combinations. So without further ado, we'll sh we shall start with this short slide with a summary. The uh, chariot cannon combination can only attack linearly and uh, for the sake of discussion, I've divided them into uh, 1R1C, 1R2C, and 2R1C combinations. 2R2C or 2 chariot and 2 cannon combinations are often seen, uh, but they will only they usually use the me different methods of checkmate as mentioned above. To begin with, the scooping moon checkmate, the chariot, uh, the cannon chariot discovered check, or the detonating mine attack. All three are. Uh, all three belong to the 1R, 1C or 1 chariot, 1 cannon combinations. The cannons sandwiching chariot checkmate will be a 1R, 2C attack and the crowning checkmate will be a 2R, 1C attack. Uh, I have discussed the throat cutting checkmate in an earlier video and it will not be discussed in this uh, short tutorial. Uh, so before we go into the details of the various tactical combinations, I would like to demonstrate uh, one of the most basic techniques using the chariot and cannon combination. In this situation, the cannon is behind the chariot and the chariot is in front of the cannon, vice versa. Uh, this is one of the most basic ways of attacking uh, using the chariot cannon combination. So if it were red's turn to move, red would simply move R8-6 and the red cannon would be delivering a check which black must resolve either with um, moving the advisor or moving the king here. However, this would result in the loss of the black chariot as the red chariot would now be able to capture it. This attack or discovered attack or discovered check is one of the most potent uh, tactics that the chariot cannon combination can use in actual play and must be learned by heart. Uh, if the chariot was behind the cannon, it will be called the detonating mine attack which will be discussed uh, slightly later in the tutorial. Uh, so we shall go into the scooping moon attack. This is one of the most basic endgame situations that must be learned by every beginner. Uh, there is a, another variant whereby instead of the can instead of the cannon, there's a red pawn, uh, which has been mentioned earlier. Uh, to begin with, in this situation, the red king and the red chariot must control the central file for the scooping moon attack to be viable. So red will start with a check and the cannon will move to the, on the bottom rank to behind the black king and use the black king as a cannon mount to attack the black chariot. Black will be placed in a dilemma. If the black chariot were to move away, red will then retreat his chariot and prepare to checkmate. The only way that the black king can save himself would be to move the chariot back to the red file which would be captured by the red cannon and this would be a very a, a book win situation for red whereby red would, uh, can continue to win with a stalemate checkmate or simply the gen, uh, white face general <coughs> checkmate Uh, there is a slight variant variation to the scooping moon attack or, sc or scooping moon checkmate. Okay, if the cannon were on the same flank or on opposite flanks of the black king, uh, which, which where, where, where the cannon was here placed here earlier, uh, red would have to find a way to maneuver the cannon to this flank so that the scooping scooping moon checkmate can be used. But is for example in this case um, if red tried to move the cannon here the king would block the cannon. If the cannon tried to move here the black chariot would then move the 
I will then block the red cannon. So it will seem that it will be impossible for the red cannon to move to this flank. So uh, how can red uh, prevent black from doing anything? Let's go back to the first posi position, in the initial position. For the first move, red would retreat his cannon to the same rank as his chariot. So no matter what uh, black does, red would deliver a check and thus allow his cannon to move the other to the other flank. This would be another very useful example of the discovered attack or discovered check in helping to ma maneuver material to a designated spot or place on the board. So this is one of the basic um, skills that any beginner should learn. And from here on, uh, Red will simply use the scooping moon checkmate mentioned earlier for the win. The next uh, attack that we'll be discussing will be the detonating mine attack. There are two names or two Chinese names for this attack. Uh, one of them will be Kuntile, or which translated literally would be referred to a mine that was rolling and exploding all the way. Another commonly used name would be Pao Nian Dan Sha, which is um, which the ancients uh, it, it, the the name for the name was created by somebody which I don't know who uh, who likened the process of the attack by the chariot combination to the way the ancient alchemists or priests created pills in the cauldrons because there was a rumbling noise and uh, it would sound very fearful and this was probably the origins of this name so to begin with so to begin with uh, instead of the chariot cannon discovered attack which was shown previously the chariot will be located behind the cannon uh, such that uh, when the cannon is moved and usually to attack enemy black pieces a check will be delivered by the chariot instead of the cannon seen in the previous uh, example on the cannon chariot discovered check so after delivery a check the cannon will continue with either capturing the chariot if there was material here or simply by attacking the rest of the black defensive pieces black, the cannon will then con continue to capture the next elephant and finally after destroying the enemy's defense a checkmate would usually resolve when the, with the help of other pieces uh, this is more of an attack and uh, if we were able to use in actual play it would be very devastating because uh, just within the span of a few moves the entire enemy defense could, will be <coughs> smashed to smithereens uh, this is also another very useful technique uh, which is which would make use of the discovered attack or discovered check uh, tactic and <coughs> the final kill that will be discussed in this video tutorial will be the cannons sandwiching chariot checkmate uh, the situation or the position shown here is from an ancient manual uh, which is called marvelous variations uh, as can be seen, uh, black is only one move away from a checkmate and but the red cannons and chariot are already in place uh, one thing before we continue is that for the cannons sandwiching chariot as his name implies the chariot will have to be located on a different flank in a uh, different file in the middle or in between the two cannons and this is usually a flank attack and um, if used properly it would be a very devastating one so to begin with we will uh, apply a check 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 and check again so at this point uh, red would have controlled all the three different ranks that the black king can move <coughs> black can only defend in this manner 
if the cannon, if the black cannon did not move here, black would uh, play c7 minus 2 for the double cannon's checkmate. Red will continue with by retreating his chariot check, and this would be the key move in the puzzle, as uh, by sacrificing the chariot, <coughs> uh, black would be placed in a dilemma. If black were to capture the chariot, it will be a check, check, checkmate. So, black cannot cannot capture the red chariot and ha would have to move away. Uh, at this point, there are two variations that can be used by red. Red could choose to uh, halt his attack for a while with c7-5 or red could also continue attacking with c9-1. If c9 plus 1 were played, red would check and capture the black chariot and be sure to win very easily. If red chose to retreat his cannon, uh, black would be forced to uh, defend in this manner. Check, check, check. And at this point, the Black King can. The only possible intersection that the Black King can move will be here, and Red would end the game with a final check by the cannon on the edge file. Uh, as can be seen, the might of the chariot and cannons can be uh, appreciated in this puzzle, whereby one of the most important things will be the control of the various different ranks intermittently before uh, a kill would su surface for red to end the, <coughs> end the match. Uh, the next uh, situation would be an example from uh, that could be found in many different books. Uh, it will represent one of the ways to manu maneuver the cannon so that um, the cannon's sandwiching chariot attack uh, can be finalized. In this situation, Black's right flank is relatively empty and there's already one cannon and one chariot preparing to attack. However, there's no uh, discovered attack that could lead to any gaining material. So, uh, how could Red continue and try to maneuver this cannon to this file for the possible kill? Red would start to attack with this move. This is a very important uh, intermediate move whereby it will force the cannon to the short rank. So Red would use another check and another check and voila! The Red Cannon will now be maneuvered to the other flank and the basic formation required the basic formation required for the cannon sandwiching chariot attack will now be in place. And it will not matter what uh, black could do, red would simply checkmate in this manner. Uh, the last checkmate that we will be discuss uh, discussing in this tutorial will be the crowning checkmate. Mm -hmm. or it is called the uh, Ping Ding Guan in Chinese. Uh, it's basically a double check that will lead to a checkmate and it's quite a very powerful uh, checkmate if you will be able to uh, maneuver the pieces to the correct place. So in this example, if red will check with R4 equals to 5 or R6 equals to 5. At this point, the cannon will be delivering a check, and so would the chariot. The only way that red, uh, the black could resolve it would be to capture the chariot, but unfortunately, it will be regarded by the other chariot. Sometimes, uh, pawns may be substituted for one of the chariots or both chariots. And um, although this is not very commonly seen, uh, it remains one of the most powerful attacks that. Uh, 
chariot double oh, sorry a cannon double chariot combination will be able to use uh, there are still several more other brilliant checkmates that I uh, have but uh, due to the constraints of this video, uh, which I'm making a conscious effort to decrease the time, uh, they, will, they, are, they will not be presented. And I thank you again for supporting my videos. The encouragement that I've received from the various viewers over the past weeks have been very um, touching to me. So thank you all and please don't forget to subscribe and more on this topic can be found in my book Understanding the Elephant uh, Shang-Chi Primer Part 2 and have a good day, thanks